pitching because like obviously we all know Federer is, is incredible and uh, and so I, I think, and this is something that Chris and I have, Castellani, I keep forgetting the two Chris's, have, uh, have talked about before and like the, the development effect that Chris Fetter has had, another Chris, there you go, it, within this organization, it cannot be like overstated. Like he, he, he has been unbelievable and, and you see, that was my biggest takeaway on the developmental side of things this season was once these guys got to the major league level. And, and as Chris Brown pointed out earlier, they didn't strike people out. Like they, I think their starting pitching strikeout number was the lowest in all of baseball. I'm pretty sure they had the fewest yeah. amount of strikeouts from starting pitching in, in, all, in the sport. And yet it didn't matter, and they still had like a somewhat salvageable starting rotation ERA. And like we, we all know they got pretty good production out of their pitching, and that's because Fetter was able to, to utilize the most and get the most out of all of these young players. I mean, Alex Fiedo, I, if you would have asked me in April what Alex Fiedo's future was, I would have told you bullpen. Like that's, you know, he's going to be a two pitch, he's going to be a fastball slider, two pitch mix, bullpen guy. And then, sure enough, he, he comes up to the majors and has a couple of like 16, 19 whiff games, and like was was uh, was starting and going into the sixth inning and whatnot, and, and putting up quality starts. And you're like, okay. And, and I, I, you know, the players are, are obviously who deserves the most credit with all of that. But like, it, it can't be overstated how important Chris Fetter is. And I, and I don't think that you see that Alex. And I, I know, you know, injury and whatnot. And he, he's got his own stuff to work on still, but. I, I think when you look at the Fiedos, you look at the um, uh, anyone like take <laughs> take your pick really. Uh, any of those young starters, you uh, you have to. It all goes back to the developmental side of pitching, and that I, I think kind of starts and ends with Chris Fetter. And definitely, you, I was with you on that too, Scott, about Alex Fedo. And the same thing, like to a certain extent, I thought about Wentz the same way because yeah. based off of him coming off the, Tommy John. But I feel like he's developed a little bit better. Wentz has showed me quite a bit. And even the, no, the other thing, too, about the Chris Fetter effect is Garrett Hill. And I asked AJ Hinch about this. When he Hill started getting out of the bullpen, he started putting his hands over his head to wind up. And it was a, such a big difference. And I, when I was noticing that, I was like, well, it, 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 even just looking at the velocity numbers, like, wow, it's a, it's a stark difference because – Hinch was talking about he couldn't bring his hands together. And then if you notice, he, when he pitched out of the stretch, he struggled because he wasn't able to do the same motion and repeat the same motion. You want your mechanics to be the same, and that wasn't happening. So that is another example of that. They, they, they noticed that he couldn't collect his hands together to pitch. And so I, I, don't know, I think that's really cool to see that. And it's, Again, it sounds like common sense. It really does. But there's so many things that happen in a baseball game. Yeah, I mean, we talk about player development. Uh Player development happens a lot at the big league level, and, and arguably the most important player development happens at the big league level. You, you develop to the point where you can get to the big leagues, and then you have to develop a lot to stay. You mentioned Garrett Hill. Joey Wentz developed a cutter this year. The cutter made a huge difference for him because he had he had a decent changeup, good fastball, and a curveball that just wasn't working for him. But now the, the cutter gives him a little harder breaking ball. You know, it's a short short break, but it gives him that option, and, and he's been – much better since he developed that. So just little things like that that end up making a huge difference. And yeah, that's 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 Chris Fetter's direction. So we we feel good around uh, around that. Get a hitting coach who does the same thing, and then uh, maybe we'll be in business in a couple of years.